because now the Avenger begins. Let's go. Good morning all, this is George Mercado, Exploration Florida. Happy New Year 2020. This is our first video for 2020. We'll be releasing some videos from last year. And right now, I'm headed to meet Fahad. Today we decided to go to um, Dinner Island and uh, Down Snake Row, which takes you to Seminole County um, and to the State Forest. We're pretty excited, not sure what we're gonna run into. Hopefully we're running some wildlife today and are able to catch some shots. Nevertheless, an adventure is an adventure. Whether you find something or not, it's still an adventure. It's better than sitting on your couch. All right, so I met up with Fahad and we're about to go hit uh, Dinner Island. It's gonna be quite a bit of a ride. So we're not gonna bore you all the riding or the driving. I will film when it comes to the exit and we can go from there. So we pulled over, got some coffee, I left a hard drive. To get to uh, Dinner Island, um, your best bet is to take I-75 West um, and you get off on exit 49 which is Snake Road. Snake Road will take you through Mikasuki Land, it will take you to uh, Seminole Land and of course it's going to take you right through State Land. Uh, all we tell people is when you come into uh, Indian Reservation, respect their rules, respect their guidelines, you know, don't carry your weapon, uh, but you can put it away some way, don't carry your weapon, um, and basically it, this is their land, respect their land. So one of the, thing, the amazing things about Dinner Island is you don't know what you're going to cross. Look, look at what's blocking our way. Come on. Move. Move! Move! Let's go! Come on! You know, you can go from the side. Well, that's a whole lot of bull. Thank you, bull. Well, that was one heck of an experience. <laughs> Luckily for us, it was a young bull. If it was a big one with horns, he might have put some damage on this vehicle. See, people don't realize you can actually come off these roads and uh, and drive around. They don't get too far, but you know, you get some each one. fun. Yeah, yeah, you get some fun out of it. You know, I tend to not interact with the cows out here or all the bulls and all that. But when they're blocking your path, I mean, a couple of blasts of the horn should get them out your way. You know. So Dinner Island is basically a loop that goes all the way around. It just zigzags through everything, through the cow areas. Um, pretty much the cool little drive. You see there's a lot of birds here. I mean, i just seen your standard Florida birds. You know, your egrets, your herons, you know, your hingas, and a couple of the other ones, and uh, nothing so fantastic. I think this one ends up in a big empty field. So we uh, left Dinner Island after our little incident with the bull. It was a nice place to visit. A couple of birds here and there. 
nothing too much to brag about. So now we're heading over to another preserve. I forgot the name of it, but once we get there, I'll show you what it is. So we traverse down this way. We're running to a campground. Um, they do have very clean bathrooms. Great little place to camp out at night. Here's the campground right there, see? Okay, let's go in, bro. Like a reservation. That's the campground. You don't want to go in? Why do you want to go to the campground? Let's go, bro. Just have a seat for a little bit and chill, bro. Chill. Keep driving. Chill, man. We want to chill for a little bit. To get a campsite, choose a vacant campsite and just camp there. Don't do anything. Our reservation proceeds to your reservation account. Alright, let's see. Pay a puppy. They uh, really cleaned up this area. We have an array of different camp areas here. You can camp out. Number two there. Another campsite there. Another campsite here. there another one there so we're checking out these campsite for how asked me if I had to take a dump and driving around looking at these damn campsites bouncing up and down dag nagging he's forcing me to take one hmm? mondo dupe mondo dupe .com. <laughs> Is your Duke Mondo? Well, look no further at MondoDuke.com. You can take the most Mondo Duke every day. That's the pond that I was talking about. There's the pond with the gators be hanging out. I believe the bathroom is on the left side over here. Uh huh. And next we go to the dumpsters. Yeah, there's that blue dumpster. And there are your clean toilets. Don't ask me. But, hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. I feel like a new man. And I should. Now, some people wouldn't record that. But hey, this is all about the vlogging. I mean, really, how could you blog about stuff or video log stuff and not show every single facet of it? So let me show you this little lake here. Here you have a nice, beautiful little pond. Really cool. People, some people from up north come up here. They may think that, hey, I'm gonna go swimming in that area. I don't recommend that, you know. You gotta be really careful here in Florida. We have a lot of poisonous snakes. Uh, or better yet, venomous snakes. Why don't we want to jump in there and have a nice little refreshing swim? Danger! Alligator present, avoid alligator attack. Stay away from tall grass and water. Well, there is the water and this is the tall grass pretty much that's what it boils down to Fahad got lost somewhere he's probably walking around in a campsite I'm gonna track him down and get our butt back on the road I'm gonna have to start heading home in a while my per pet cockatiel passed away last night and I have to go consult my son and do a pet burial in the backyard. Never a good thing, but part of life, I guess. Now it's time to find Fahad. I'm pretty sure he went to one of the campsites. It's a bear, I tell ya. You throw like a girl. Like this?
Hey, Fahad. You ready? There's a gator there. Yeah, I know. You know? What's there? That's why the sign says there's a gator in there. You want to take a dip? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll film it. We can go viral. You're the reason why they made warning labels. Yeah. <laughs> it would be fun, bro. That would be fun. So right. let me let me tell you that first porta potty. <laughs> I've never seen toilet paper like so close to the top of the porta potty. It's like they just kept piling on poop on top of poop on top of poop on top of poop on top of poop. That's it. I think nasty. First time I ever seen that bathroom so nasty. The second porta potty much better, but this first one oh. Disgusting. <laughs> a little too much information, right? And you know what else? Well, I video logged in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's part of the adventure. We're gonna go check out this little uh, boardwalk that's out here that we've come to many times. See if we can locate it this time, because most of the time we forget where it's at. Here, there's two ways. There's one that way, and no, it's actually that way. Harrison Wilcox crossover. This takes you all the way around the other side over there. But we're gonna miss the boardwalk if we do that. Ah, let's go. These have different signs. These signs are all new. I used to drive this a lot with uh, my 2004 Toyota. I mean, we the places we used to take that Toyota, huh? Yeah. So many places. I mean, places where Toyota should not go, that Toyota went. Now to come by, I haven't. I literally haven't done this place or driven through here um, since I've had, I got rid of the Corolla. So this is a refresher for sure. miles per hour sure you could probably go faster don't want to get caught by a uh, ranger doing so so every time we try to find this boardwalk we always seem to one day find it another day miss it another day find it another day miss it today we finally took our time to find it and thus we have found it Fahad is leading the way it's a short walk um, maybe half a mile, not too sure. So last time we did this trek, water came up, probably up to where Fajada is right now. And this was pretty much on the water set for the boardwalk. And here she is. Let me just show you real quick where we're at. Awesome, still in the state forest. And now at the boardwalk. I was always kind of perplexed and confused. Why, oh why, would they put a boardwalk in the middle of a prairie? It's not like this thing is really, has water in it. Oh, then the marsh water is there. Um, 
and there's really nothing to see here but prairie. Sure, it's a pretty scenic sight, but still, nevertheless, it's just your standard everyday boardwalk in the middle of nowhere. And I repeat, in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful scenery in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I still don't comprehend why they would put a bottle here. Perhaps it's just to enjoy the scenery. Nevertheless, I'm glad it's here. I get to visit and enjoy it with my closest friends. I shoot pictures here from time to time. All right, so we say goodbye to our little boardwalk in the middle of nowhere. And we head on out. Recapturing a memory from the past. You ready? Uh, just a little. I just want to see something. He's basically trying to recapture or retake a photo we took ages ago when this thing was flooded and he was here. Uh, it's dry now, so of course the scenery and the land looks totally different than it was before. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I Found it? Yeah. I'm going to see if it looks... Oh yeah, what a difference. Look at that picture. And what it looks like now. What a difference. Can you take like this? Like what? Two different lenses, brother. I could take with my Sony. Yeah, that, that, that was really why that, that was why yeah, I Yeah, we're using my 1120. I'll take with the Sony. So this is a sign to the boardwalk. It used to be a really, really cool sign here. Really festive, very pretty awesome. And instead we have this now. Which really sucks. Because the last sign was awesome. And now we just got this junk. That's the path. So you have to get, and it is in the same forest that we've been walking around in all the time. So I guess it's time to get back in the car and mosey on home. Fun day, lots of oh yeah, it was fun. Day. Good times, not that much wildlife to shoot today, but we made the best of it. George Mercado, Fahad Azman. See you later. Right? Click like, subscribe, follow more stuff of Exploration Florida, and give a special uh, like and follow South Florida Wanderer. Good guy. See you later.